Senator Ketter. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. President. And, uh, Mr. President, I am a strong supporter of the trade union movement, and tonight I rise to lend my support to the national No One Deserves a Serve campaign by my union, the STA. Order, colleagues. Please leave the chamber quietly. No One Deserves a Serve is designed to educate consumers and re reinforce the rights of workers to do their job without fear of abuse or violence in the workplace. And this is something that most of us take for granted in our jobs. But unfortunately for many workers, particularly in the retail and fast food sector, regular abuse is a reality. Now, Mr President, with only six weeks until Christmas, many of us will be heading out to do Christmas or holiday shopping soon. It's probably going to be hot. It could take ages to find a car park. The kids might be clamouring for this, this new toy or that new video game, and some people might just have had a, a bad day. Whatever the circumstances, I implore shoppers to keep calm and always be respectful to the staff who are serving you, whether it's in the supermarket, the department store, the food court or the drive through because no one deserves a serve. Now, I want to thank the SDA, particularly National Secretary Gerard Dwyer and National Assistant Secretary Julia Fox, for organising a briefing for uh, politicians in Canberra during the last sitting week. And I particularly want to thank the courageous workers from the ACT area who told us their stories. And I just wanted to highlight a couple of the stories that workers have told uh, people through this campaign on the SDA's uh, website. And just some of the, the comments that workers are making are uh, you know, very disturbing. People are saying that, uh, and I quote, we get yelled at and abused all the time. Another quote was, screaming, yelling, swearing, hands being thrown around, invading personal space, provocative behaviour when in an even more vulnerable position such as door greeter. I've been a victim of serious abuse and threatening behaviour when things were thrown at me and security management had to become involved. Somebody else said, I've had customers throw products at me for simple things such as product is out of stock. Somebody else made the comment, once a team member was held up with a syringe. Another comment was, the customers swear at you when they don't get their way. Somebody else said, I've been spat at. I've had a hot roast chicken and a bag of salad thrown at me. And finally, I've been spat on during a theft incident. I've had people threaten to harm me and my staff after we refused service due to intoxication. Now, Mr President, these stories are horrifying. No one deserves to go to work worrying about whether they will be yelled at or having things thrown at them during their shift. It is simply un-Australian. And let's not forget, these are the same workers who will be working for less money during public holidays this Christmas. So I commend the SDA for this important campaign. This is the type of campaign that demonstrates the vital role that unions play in our society. I also want to uh, acknowledge another issue that uh, is a major win for the SDA in that um, in September the SDA won a very long-running case in the Fair Work Commission that will see penalty rates increase for 350,000 casual retail workers uh, working on Saturdays and uh, on evening work. Now, that, uh, the impact of that decision has takes place from the beginning of this month. So casuals working in the retail industry and dependent on the General Retail Industry Award to determine their conditions of employment will start to see some increases in their pay packet. But this case was lodged back in 2015. So we know that how much effort and work goes into these applications, the arguments that has to occur against opposition from employer groups, and that happened on this occasion. I want to make the point that the work that the union did in securing this uh, significant win for 350,000 retail workers not only benefits union members who pay their union fees to the SDA union, but it also benefits many people who are not members of the union and who work in the retail industry. So it's, this just illustrates the, the uh, important role, the benefit that um, the existence of unions provides to our society. Now, these pay increases for casuals will be phased in over the next three years to 2020, and it's, uh, it's a, a great win for the SDA. Once again, it shows that uh, the importance of people joining their union uh, to fight for wage increases and for working conditions for Australian workers. We know that Australians need a pay rise, not a pay cut, 
and uh, unions are there to help people get a pay rise.